investigations, figuring out what the heck we were going to do. And we have two primary suspects in this scenario. We have number one, our girl Sonia. And number two, it's Nagito himself. So, I am very curious what this game is going to throw at me. It's going to be a lot. And I don't know if I'm really quite prepared for the amount that this game is going to throw at me. Um, but I don't have a choice to be prepared. If I had a choice, then obviously we'd have a different circumstance. But we do Damn not. Right. So. Looks like everyone is here. Yes, we all are here, Fujiko. Oh. This is it. Shouldn't there be more people? No, because they all they freaking died. So Stop it, you're making me depressed. Um. So, it is gonna happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? That's, right. That's what Monokuma Bastard said, so d didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. We've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all of this saying it, you know? You know, right? That's why I'll definitely be the one to survive. If we can go home after we deal with the class trial, I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if they have to, pull, I have to pull out all the stops. Oh, she didn't talk. What the fuck? Why are you even here? You haven't realized it yet. The feeling of wanting to leave this island, thinking that Monokuma's this Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? huh? What are you even saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning to do something far worse. <sighs> Ugh, stop trying to jinx us, Monami. Damn right, stupid rabbit should shut up. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I have finally realized after losing my powers, I realized that cur uh, cursing your powerless on your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it in order to become someone who you can be proud of. So I will fight. Huh? What's her deal? Um. I do not really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. But her eyes. She looks so determined. Ew. What? You can tell just by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, just making sure you turn off M Mini Maru. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the class trial. Fine. But still. Somehow, I understand what Monami is saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going to the class trial. Yep. You're right. We need to find it. Or we need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. <sighs> I cannot believe we're here. This is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. And entered Monokuma Rock. This group is so yeah. small. This elevator ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? I hope well, so. Let's worry about things after we finished. You are right. More importantly, we need to focus on the class we must focus on the class trial before us. Oh boy. The fact that there is only six of us is kind of it's so insane to think about. The killer managed to kill Nagito. There's no way this is going smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he also was a valuable asset during the class trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he was gone, the ones who survived need to stand and fight. We must fight. We were dependent on Nagito on that. Like, without Nagito, I don't know if we'd be here standing before Monokuma on this class trial. The bright light greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or is that the light of despair? Well now. Well then, now that that chatterbox and Nagito is gone, there's only six of you left. Shut the hell up. Enough, just freaking started already. Hey. hey, this is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep. It sure is. 
So you gotta show some enthusiasm to make sure you give it your all. all right. Didn't I tell you? He said it. If this is the end. Now then. Let's get this trial started! This is the last class trial, so show me some enthusiasm and kill each other! Oh boy. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last trial trial. The curtain is about to rise. Nagido Kamida, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as a very sociable individual. But his true nature held a de demented thought process that was nothing like the outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that could overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said that he'd become the stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times he saved us as well. Someone like him was killed, and that was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... It is so crazy that that page... It's, one, it's crazy to see Nagito's dead. Like, my brain, again, I was so in, like, the zone of Nagito's making it to the end that it just does not feel real that Nagito is dead. It is a weird sensation, because we've been, like... At chapter 2, we were calling for his death, and now we're like, shoot, he's dead. It's so weird, but that's what it's called. Character development! Anyways, um, <laughs> we will be consumed by all the despair. Chiaki's the only survivor on this page. The person who finished up Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. And then Akane and me are on the final page. If this is the last class trial, that's more of a reason that we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. Of course, we need to save! Oh my gosh, it's a light blue. I cannot believe we're here. I'm not going to go over what's in the, like, the pieces of information. With a simple explanation. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. It's so weird that Nagito's gone. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... Why is the X on Gundam different? Wait, have I just now noticed that the killer X is different? everyone besides. Oh my god, I just now noticed this. This person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh my, Monami? My cute little sister? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Yes, no! Ah, oh, poor Monami. Already getting beat up before we even start. Time. Jeez, how about this one? Wow. This be my final blow. It's useless. Please stop. I feel bad for Monomi. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monomi. The class trial has started after all. The victim this time is Nagito, who was attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. I don't think so. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> as much as I hate it. Now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? They are the same person or... Oh, we're already in an argument. Oh boy. Torture wounds, survival and life, duct tape, Monokuma's account... The oil lighter. There is a whole shoop ton. Hello. Killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. 
I'm telling you, they were torturing him. I agree. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, mm. the suspect is whoever found the bomb first. No, ah. That was Fuyuhiko. I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Ah. Why did the killer have to torture Nagito? No. Were the wounds on Nagito's body really caused by a torture in the first place? The killer didn't. Is whoever found the bomb first? No. Damn. I already lost. Uh, I already freaking messed played. Okay. There's no way. Nagito's mouth to shut him up or tortured Nagito. No. Ah. Uh. Could the duct tape prove it actually? I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Oh, uh, wrong buttons. So that's why he was so what Wrong was button syndrome. Episode? Is whoever felt that was It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. Good, 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 good. We got there eventually. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape. So he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. We're already getting rebuttal, bro. Kazuichi, it took you two I seconds to rebuttal with me. It. It's a trap. Trap? Stupid Hajime, you got caught in that trap. I was not expecting to get a rebuttal immediately out of Kazuichi. Like, I mean, I mean, it is Kazuichi, but still. Um. I'm gonna go. Like you said if Nagito's mm. mouth was taped shut, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk. But that was the trap. They wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. I I'm gonna go with the down. spear. Oh, you're making me mash. Okay, I'm surprised I got that win. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? He can't. Pay attention. This is first. The killer tortured not and got information about the bomb's location. No. Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. Crap. After Pay they attention. killed. This is how it. Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. Crap. Hmm. Pay attention. Apparently, I didn't listen either. After they killed him, allow me to oh, I did. I just I repeated the wrong point. Okay, we're fine. No, there's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? You're the simp here. Are you in elementary school you or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so he wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then... Are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? I could see it. If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? 
the warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? You can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. Uh. Sure isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that, but... That has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Hmm. Alrighty then. Let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? She retreated as soon as people were like, like what? How? What do you mean? Damn right it is. The reason for, for the fire, huh? They're right. We need to clear that up first. Yes. I agree with that. That's at least agreeable here. Uh, the oil lighter or the monokuma panels, one of the two. The direct cause of the fire was the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. They did. That's it. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. No. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Oh, that's not... No, I didn't read... I didn't listen to him entirely. Not sound waves. I'm an idiot. It was not the sound waves. The direct they use the oil as an improvised fuse? No, okay. Or perhaps opening the door caused. There we go. I agree with that. I knew I had the right argument. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. Yeah. A domino effect. You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up? I actually remember mentioning over? that. In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? The music. It was absolutely the music. I see. You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to this bright sunlight outside. Within the darkness, a loud hymn blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Just now you don't like listening to this depressing crap. No, I'm not talking about the music. As if on cue, it suddenly started. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. 
Good job, Akane. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter. Huh? It's not opening. There's something blocking the door. I can barely open it. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, stop. It's okay. I, didn't I tell you it'd be fine? I gotta like, use a little bit more force. What happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protests and mightily kicked the door from the... It, yeah, and then it was... Ah, oh, so the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time... Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? But the blocked doorway... There wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. If the door was the only entrance to the warehouse... I see. The problem with Chiaki... Or the problem Chiaki's talking about... The killer couldn't have left. I see. If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? This might be leaning more and more towards Nagito. Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. The, based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Nagito. You don't mean... But if that's true, this murder... Um, Hajime? What do you mean? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse? There's only one person who could have done that. Yeah, Nagito. That was my secondary thought process. It was either Sonya or Nagito. And if I'm wrong, then... This is my answer. Then I'm fine with being wrong, but... What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring Why Emma? I... He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? I heard my phone's ring down. I was like, no, Not stop. Just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? <laughs> Don't be stupid. It's not stupid, His though. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself <laughs> Chiaki! <laughs> N need to discuss? <laughs> That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Like you said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but I feel like I'm overlooking something. Wounds the burned rope. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but... Tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? No. Or if you use your front tail. Dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? It sounded like it, but... Impossible if you were by yourself. No. Okay, that makes... I'm glad it's not that, but... To actually tie up your own arms and legs. No. Okay. I guess, to be fair, contradicting your own statement with your own statement does not happen very often, so... That's not what I wanted to click. I, I'm spam clicking and I don't like that. 
No, okay. Impossible. How about if you use or if you use your dirty joke? Is that a dirty joke? To actually tie up your own. No, that's oh, I had the right point again. I do this all the time where I have the right point and then just don't refute it correctly. Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? W what? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were. No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before that. I don't think so. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. The fact... His right sleeve. There it is. I was like, where's his right sleeve? Excuse me, game. There it is. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. Bruh. Akane, you should not give it away for free. Bruh. Make sure they pay you for it. Bruh. No, no, that's no. Wrong. That's worse. Fine. Well, no, that's better, but not good. I let him touch me, right? Bruh. Oh my god. Akane only fans, apparently. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know. It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. Not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back. What the heck? Uh, hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and spill it. If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. Um, a way to stab yourself in the right hand using only your right hand. Okay, there's definitely an answer for this. Um, yeah, 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 the, the, um, the, um, blood on the grinder, there it is. I was like, I swear to God. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, he did not do that. Stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? No! It switched the thing! Oh! <laughs> I had it. I actually had it. And let the knife fall. his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Oh, no, I didn't have it. Never mind. Wrong? No. Okay. Maybe he propped the knife somehow. Aha! We're still we're barely hanging on here. The life-size Monokuma plushie. He must have used that to prop the knife. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. Yeah. He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. I... I see. So that's the trick. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. A bleeding plushie is super scary. It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long. After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? If you think about the order, 
Getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen in Naruto. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. Th there is a limit to his constitution. Yes. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. My brain did not go to a place that it should have. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Ah, uh, say it one more time. Oh. We need to record it for a reason. See, there's a limit. I actually stopped at the limit. You crossed it. Hey, bastard, you better cut it out. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I also agree with that. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Ah! Mamonami sassing me! But... It's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. So, this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course, that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. I feel that there's... some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. What kind of way? The fire? I don't know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone working together. She's right. We've made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. And even All now... Right, let's do this. Hmm. We're getting a lot of the same ones. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. That's the case. The only other way is he used his teeth. Nope. Or maybe he used his front tail. Oh my God. I know guys have tails that get hard when they're grabbed. <sighs> what are you saying? A blushing Miss Sonia is freaking awesome. <laughs> if Nagino committed suicide, then he must have used the spear to stab himself. Even if his arms and legs were tied out, there's no doubt he used some part of his body. The only thing he could have used is... How did... Or maybe he used his front tail. Good. Thank God. Men are amazing. They have complete control over their tails, right? I want a tail, too. Akane is wrong about a lot of things, but it looks like I was wrong, too. I need to get... <laughs> Good. 